Santandesi is the Labour MP for Slough. Morning, Tan. Good morning, Andrew. Make the case. We've, we've heard it made by Andrew Johnson in Windsor and Maidenhead. Make the case um, as to why it's worth changing the rules in Slough, bearing in mind that is going to damage local businesses. Well, uh, we've met uh, in terms of the local uh, leaders as, uh, as the Slough Council leader, the Slough MP, the Council Chief Executive and the Department for Public Health uh, Director as well. So we've looked at uh, the evidence and unfortunately the level of cases is going up uh, at an alarming rate. Uh, so uh, your reporter has rightly pointed out that we are now, uh, you know, we've got a lot of uh, community transmission as well and that's why we jointly agreed that we would recommend to government that uh, we voluntarily in Slough would go into uh, the higher tier as a tier two uh, and I think that if we don't do that then the level of community transmission will, will continue uh, we've got to make sure that the, uh, the, the Slough community realizes where we are and if we don't take these tougher measures then it, things could get a lot worse. And I, suppose, I mean, that does rely on the fact that changing the rules changes people's behaviour. You believe that if you put Slough into Tier 2 and say don't mix indoors with people you don't live with, that people will do that. Precisely, Andrew. I think you know, if people realise the gravity of the situation, then that that should, uh, and uh, you know, we're hoping that it definitely will, change behaviours. Uh, and and uh, from our previous discussions, Andrew, you'll know that uh, Slough has been a hotspot. Uh, during the first wave of the virus, uh, we uh, experienced an unusually high number of deaths. We've got a population uh, with uh, a very young population as well, uh, but amongst uh, certain uh, elements of the, of the population, we've got high uh, levels of underlying health factors uh, as another issue as well. Uh, so there are various things that come that are coming together. That now that's interesting. So there are specific facts about the demographics of Slough that make you even more worried about the virus spreading. Precisely, and, and that's uh, what we saw last time. So what we want to do is to, we want to make sure that we take steps as early as possible uh, in order to voluntarily go into Tier 2. Uh, and, and you're right, that will have an impact uh, on those uh, that uh, freely go and visit each other in, in terms of households. But if we don't take steps now, then we'll be sorry later on. Right. I'm, I'm still confused about the process here. So on Friday, uh, all, all the leaders in Slough agreed that they want to go into Tier 2. And it's now Monday and we're still not in Tier 2. So uh, when does that decision get made and who does it get made by? Well, we requested uh, the government formally, and uh, it's, it is a ministerial decision. So, Andrew, we are now awaiting the decision from the Department for Health and Social Care, in, in, in particular, the government minister. Right. So, uh, you know, we've made our recommendation, and as far as we're concerned, uh, the sooner the better, really. And could it? I mean, could it be that um, we're in a bit of a queue, so that you know what? Tia, Slough and Windsor and Maidenhead are in really, really matters to us here. But meantime, government ministers have got far bigger things to worry about elsewhere in England. So, that you know, we're, we're just kind of waiting. Uh, <laughs> you are correct to a great extent there. So uh, all we can do is now await their decision, which we are advised will come uh, during the meeting that they are going to be holding uh, later this week. Uh, so you know, that, that's where we are. If if it was up up to us locally, all four of us, as the key uh, decision makers, uh, have all agreed that we need to move into tier two. But our, what I would request is that the good people of Slough and, and in the surrounding areas, please take extra precautions uh, and, and please follow government guidance. Uh, so in terms of the hand space and space, that that, you know, that that element is very important. But in terms of uh, having greater hygiene and trying to restrict uh, as much as possible contact uh, with others, uh, unless absolutely necessary, because that's the only way that we can save uh, lives within our community. And what about local businesses? Because um, if you say to people, well, you can't meet anyone you don't live with in a pub or a restaurant or a cafe or anywhere like that, then with the best will in the world, people are not going to go and not spend their money in those businesses. And that, that might be necessary. It may, may well on balance be the right way forward. But what do you say to people who are running those businesses that, that are going to suffer if the government does what you're asking for? Well, uh, the likes of me have consistently called for in the House uh, of Commons to say, we 
we need to get support to businesses. We need to get support to individuals. Uh, initially, the likes of me, we, we were very, very complimentary about the the scheme, the furlough scheme that the government had. Now, what what uh, we are now saying is that, look, if we want people to follow government guidance, if we want them to isolate, then we need to provide that support to individuals as well as businesses so that they do not suffer uh, uh, in, in terms of uh, their financial situation. And for many of them, that financial situation is already precarious. And we've seen that divide, Andrew, in, in parts of the country where w- what's happening in, in, in the north, they're saying, well, look, you cannot have fur- uh, you can't have lockdown on the cheap, that you need to provide the support for our communities, for our businesses, because otherwise, uh, you know, we are already in a very, very difficult situation. Without I must have missed that fleeting moment where you were complimentary about government policy. I missed that. Um, thank you so <laughs> much for coming on, Tan. Very good to talk to you. Thank if you've got you. more info for people in Slough, come straight back on the show anytime, all right? Thank you. Uh, Tan Desi is the Labour MP for Slough. Seven-